Britain says it's deeply concerned that the Hong Kong businessman Jimmy Lai has been charged under the territory's controversial new national security law. He was arrested in August on suspicion of having conspired with foreign forces to endanger national security. Mr Lai founded the Apple Daily newspaper. He's a fierce critic of Beijing. Our China correspondent Stephen McDonnell reports from Beijing. Jimmy Lai faces life in prison if found guilty of collusion with a foreign country or so-called external elements. The 72-year-old pro-democracy media tycoon has long been a thorn in the side of governments in Hong Kong and Beijing. Now he's become the highest profile person charged under the city's controversial state security law and his trial will draw international attention. The headquarters of his Apple Daily newspaper was raided in August. Senior executives, including Lai, were detained. Police said they were suspected of working with foreign forces. Last year's mass protests, calling for widespread democratic reforms in Hong Kong, appeared to take the authorities by surprise, especially the scale of participation. The government dug in. So did the activists. The longer the unrest continued, the more destructive the clashes became. Beijing's solution has been a draconian state security law, making even the wearing of certain T-shirts or the chanting of certain slogans punishable with a prison sentence. The Communist Party is making no apologies for the law, saying it's brought back stability. Jimmy Lai's Apple Daily had been seen as supporting the protests, it's certainly not held back when covering Carrie Lam's administration and a government's perceived mishandling of the crisis in Hong Kong. The details of what the newspaper mogul is to be accused of are yet to be revealed, but he'll appear in court on Saturday facing charges of endangering national security. Here in the Chinese capital, the government's describing the Hong Kong state security law as a rousing success having crushed mass dissent in that city, at least for the time being. Internationally, however, the Asian financial hub's reputation is taking a beating as freedoms disappear one by one. What all of this does mean is that Jimmy Lai's trial will be watched in many corners of the world. Stephen McDonnell, BBC News, Beijing. The news there from Beijing. Let's go to our reporter Danny Vincent in Hong Kong. And Danny, what can you tell us about reaction there? Well, I think since July 1st, uh, when the national security law was introduced here in Hong Kong, uh, many activists and many members of the pro-democracy camp feel that activists are essentially being targeted almost one by one. Um, today, we've seen obviously big news. We've seen a very young um, activist called Tony Chung. Um, he was found guilty of protest-related offences last year. He could be facing five years in prison, but he's also facing charges um, f relating to the national security law. And at the other end, we've seen um, a 73-year-old, extremely prominent, uh, extremely wealthy businessman and media mogul, uh, Jimmy Lai, um, face this new charge, which means he could also face life in prison if found guilty. Uh, now, activists definitely feel that these cases are examples of political persecution. They say the law is now being used as a weapon against people that try to speak out against Beijing. Uh, the authorities here and the authorities in Beijing, they would argue that the national security law has brought stability and, and peace to the city because last year we saw back-to-back -back, um, violent, or well, sometimes violent protests and street demonstrations on the streets literally almost every weekend where protesters would stand up against the police. They say this new law has brought an end to that but activists say that it's simply silenced dissent.